celebrated savior, um, the, the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, the inheritor of this earth, uh, Imam al-Mahdi Sharif. It is actually a, a spiritual occasion, a happy occasion, an occasion of hope um, and of happiness as well. Of hope more than, more than anything is one of the best feelings um, that we can feel from a night like this. A night where so many difficulties and trials and tribulations in this earth, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to hasten the reappearance of the awaited Savior, Imam Mahdi Ajallahu ta'ala Farajul Sharif. We have a jam-packed show, but before I get to anything, I'd also like to welcome my co-host and my dear friend, Ahmed Ali. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you? I would like to congratulate you on, uh, on this very momentous, I like how you use that word. Thank you. Uh, and very auspicious occasion Thank you. Uh, of, the bir of, of the birth of um, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mahdi, may Allah hasten his appearance. Um, tonight, as you mentioned, it's, it's jammed with surprises. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I won't spoil <laughs> anything. <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll, we'll leave it uh, for the dear viewers. Yeah. Uh, but tonight, uh, Mullah, if you don't mind, I want to talk about how we as the followers of Ahl Bayt السلام, and as a matter of fact everyone that is waiting for their Messiah oh. because technically every religion has their own Messiah yeah. how we Shia, we Muslim, we as human race need the Messiah and are we, are we desperate for his arrival or are we not? Yani for example the millions, I don't know if the, if the dear viewers uh, are getting a chance. I would like from the producer to show what is going out, what is going on outside right now, because it's literally jammed. Mm. It's like Arba'in but happy occasion. Yeah, yeah. Arba'in but happy occasion. Yeah, and just in the afternoon, it's Karbala yeah. was near empty. You know, I wasn't expecting this much, and Ali Fadl took a shortcut to come to the channel. Yeah, <laughs> I had to go through the long way, <laughs> which took me around like 15 minutes. Yeah. How long did it take you? Five, five or six minutes. Five or six yeah, minutes. Shortcut through the supermarkets. Yes, through, through the, the alleyways. Yeah. Uh, so, Mullah. Yeah. No, I mean, just to follow on from you say, I mean, there's. If, 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 you, if, you, if you log every single year and how much trials and tribulations, how much pressure there is on the Muslims year in, year out, um, you can say that at this moment in time, with the help of the media, Islam is such a, is Islam is under such a spotlight that we are under pressure. Our sisters are under pressure. Our brothers are under pressure, um, both in the West and the East. What kind of pressure? Well, I mean, it's just discrimination, um, some right, downright bigotry. There's, 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 you know, I mean, recently, 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 the uh, in in London there was. Um, see, every time something political happens in London, automatically the, the Muslim women have to fear. For, for their lives in, yeah. in some cases. So what happens is there's a WhatsApp a message that goes around, I think it's from the police. It says, look, for Muslim women, please do not go out by yourselves, uh, or especially if you're wearing a scarf or a hijab, don't go out by yourselves. Uh, it's better to go out with someone and try and be back before dark. So that kind of message is like, what kind of world am I living in? It's a world of fear, and I'm living here in the West as well. So there's a lot of insecurities. So the more pressure is, is, is is heaped on the Muslims, the more we're crying out for something to, to relieve this pressure. And what's, what's funny to mention, if we want to compare, Iraqis here complain about having, uh, you know, after 12 in some areas of Karbala, yeah. it's, it's cut. So yeah. like, they have to search the car, they have to check what, you know, who, who's in the car and yeah. stuff to see, checkpoints, uh, you know, yeah. checkpoints is to, to secure the areas. And they complain at 12 a.m. at night where you're telling me before dark yeah i mean it's, so it's it's, it's crazy yeah. but uh mulla comments on what you see right now oh wow that this is footage from the shrine of Abu al-fadl abbas um and as you can see just just from the amount of hands there are trying to touch the the dhariyah, the the tombstone of, of Abu al-fadl abbas every single one of them with the trial and the tribulation and um and something on their mind a haja a request uh, coming to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but through the might of Abdul Fadl Abbas during these nights, they yes. ask for their hajat. Uh, and similarly, anyone out there, if you have requests, if you have a supplication, please do send it in. Our mouths are your mouth mouthpieces. The channel is your mouthpiece as well. We are at your service to, to deliver any messages um, towards Abu Abdullah al-Hussein and Abdul Fadl Abbas on this momentous occasion of tonight. Mm -hmm. 
Now, Mulla, mm. uh, to get things going, uh, we actually need one cell phone. If I can get just a cell phone, I have the, the, the seven. Uh, no, no, no. I, I can't put the, the jack in. Oh, so yeah, now you can. Oh, you have it? Yes. Oh, wow. Good. Now, this game uh, is called Trying to Guess. So this is the this is the reading the lip game, right? Re so re just reading the lip game. Yeah, just so that the the, the dear viewers, we, we are transitioning from spiritual to a bit of fun and games. And then course. we'll go back. And then we'll go. Uh, what I have promised for you is uh, what I have prepared for you is a full list of all the rituals associated with Michaban. We will get onto um, the certain supplications, and you can sit back and relax, and you can re you know re recite after me, um, and I'll have a list of all the recitations as well. Uh, so that you can benefit from this night. It is a night of prayer. It is a night of uh, seeking closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But before that, let's slightly enjoy ourselves um, mm. and see what Ahmed has in store for me uh, on this journey of games and, uh, and winning. Mm -hmm. Now, this yeah. game, basically, uh, you have to put the headphones on. Yeah. Okay. And I have to try and... And you have to try and guess what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's just hope... Uh, so works. he's going to put something in my ear so that I can't hear anything. Okay. Let me know when it plays. When okay, I can... Guess what this is? Put it a bit higher. It's not higher. It's impatient. Okay, I can't... I can't hear what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> All right, so let's begin. <laughs> let's begin. <laughs> what have you put on? <laughs> He's put on one of my tracks, but okay, thanks. Yeah, like, listen to well, this. What am I going to put? Yeah, all right. yeah. Anything else in this world, but go on. Okay, all right. Khosh. Imam al Mahdi, may Allah hasten his return. What? Tell me when you started. Okay. One, two, three. Imam al Mahdi, may Allah hasten his return. That's to be slower than that. Okay. Imam al Mahdi, may Allah hasten. One second, one second, one second, one second. You're saying a full-blown sentence. Oh. It has to be three words. Three words? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Something, something, something. And try and make it slow so I can at least read it. Khosh. Hey. How old are you? Say that again. How old are you? How old are you? Oh. Did I get that right? Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> I, I think because that was easy. Okay. That okay. was easy. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll change it up a little okay. bit. Khosh. We're in the land of Karbala. Would I ever live in Karbala? No. No. Where do I live in Karbala? No. It's got Karbala in it, right? It has Karbala, yeah. This on full. Trust yeah. me, I can't hear you. Okay. You repeat it. I actually forgot it. Wasn't you it? forgot what your sentence was. <laughs> you forgot your sentence. I was uh, live in Karbala. Okay, one more, one okay. more, one more. Wow, because it was here. Anyways, uh, I can't log out. Hush. When did you arrive? What do I do in my life? No. Nope. When did you arrive? I, I can't. Do it again. When did you arrive? What did I have? No. Repeat one more time. When? Did you arrive? I can't, I can't. You can't? I can't, I can't, no. Cool. It's Where my it? turn. When did you arrive? Oh, when did I arrive? Okay. Is that? Oh, mashallah. We have a surprise. Okay, um, pause it, pause it for a second. Countdown. Okay. Um, Sorry, 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 sorry. I, I just, for the life of me, I can't think of anything. Count down. Pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Sorry, for the life of me, I, just, I can't think of anything sometimes. You know, I'm just gonna go with this. What do you mean? I know, I know, it's really bad. Hush. Okay. All right. Play it. All right. Is it playing? Are you sure? Okay. Three, two, one. Time. 
of sunrise. Okay, time of sunrise. Dawn, sunrise. Oh, no, no. Time. Salam. T -t time. Stop. Time. Some. Time. Some. Time. T -t 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 -t. Time. Peace. Yeah. Time. Time. Chai. Time. What, what the who? What, what, what is chai? Time. Time. Yeah. T okay. Time. 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 Of. Of. Sunrise. Sunrise. There we go. Okay, good. Time of sunrise. You help me, okay? Yeah, yeah that's the whole point. I'm supposed to help you. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Push. Uh, okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Bring me flowers. Flowers? Okay. Bring me. Bring. Bring. Bring me flowers. Bring me flowers. There okay, you go. Good, good, good. good. Uh, should we go one more? Huh? One more? One more. Okay. Elephants. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Elephants are grey. The last word. <laughs> Elephants are grey. Are gay. <laughs> no, 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 Elephants no. are what? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Are what? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, do it again, do it again, do it again. It was supposed, I, to, be, it was supposed I, to be grey, okay? I hope okay. you didn't say what I all think right, you all right, said. All right. Okay, okay. Tigers. Tigers. Silence. Tigers. Tigers. Hakani. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tigers. Child. No. T -t 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 Time. The tigers. T -t 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 tigers. Childish. Tigers. Sh tigers. American accent. Yeah, yeah. Tigers. Trousers. No. Tigers. Pants. Arr, arr. Tiger. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. Tigers. Tigers are, are yellow. Yellow. Tigers are low? Yellow. <laughs> Ye yellow. Yellow. Yes, tigers, tigers are, are yellow. yellow. There you go. <laughs> wow, for the elephants part? I, I thought you said something else. I know. It was the elephants are gray. Yeah. Gray? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I didn't think of this three, but yeah. Cool. All right. This was, um, it was fun. Uh, I, I, I had it fully prepared, but the fact that I had to open uh, oh, a no song, um, uh, like uh, a song I, of I your that. songs. I need, I need that, otherwise. You need that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you need it? Because it's my headphones, I can't play anything. Oh, okay, yeah. nice. Hush. Okay, okay now, uh, there's one more part, which is actually uh, related to my very special guest, uh, Mulla Ali Fadil, uh, who has generously what are you doing and actually uh one of the more in iraqi we say sport what are you doing you know the the funnest guest we had uh that uh, is, is so into everything he wants to do everything try everything out uh so uh he's very flexible uh with the with how he acts what, now, you, what, what are you doing uh can we get a picture on the screen <laughs> oh impatient, my lord, are you serious? Impatient by Ali Fadl. <laughs> what about it? Was just the track yeah. I. You put on, yeah. I put on okay. when we played uh, the guessing game. Yeah. Khosh, Mullah. Can we have. Uh, okay. What's wrong with the picture? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to uh, tell the story or do you want me to tell I the story? I don't, know, I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, uh -huh, nice. No. Khosh, subhanAllah, your beard now looks different. <laughs> Is that Photoshop or is no. that did just makeup? No, no, no. It's because I, I just shaved. Uh huh. So it looked more fresher. Uh huh. Fresher. Yeah. But like, one one more time, one more time. Ah. Yeah. It looks it looks <laughs> new. It looks new. Khosh. Now, what's wrong with that picture? It's not what's wrong. It's. Um, I'm, I'm trying to do the exact same thing. looks very face. impatient. No. <laughs> You need, you need to get into your zone and yeah, and I need to hold on. In, in the moment, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get the same angle. Mm -hmm. Is this the same one? Anyways. Anyway, yeah. Anyways, 
So okay, two, all right, two, no, no, no. all right, all right. Two, okay. two Arbaeans ago, Ali Fadl was in Karbala, and uh, we hosted each other. I was, you were the co-host, I was the co-host yeah. uh, for a program in Arbaeen live. And uh, we always played this tune because it was nice the year that it just came out. And you told me something I regarding... Told I told you? Uh-huh. Okay, all right. Oh. Hush. Does anyone know this? Actually, no. <laughs> you okay, heard it fine, first on fine, IHTV3. Fine, 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 fine. I'll, <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll, I'll reveal all, okay? Push. The night before, okay. I was supposed to be recording this. Yes. Okay, I, like two days ago. Allah, you have the same haircut. Yeah. I, I had bought a, a new shaving trimming. machine. Yeah. Like, trimming machine, right? Yeah. Um, so I didn't know how to use the gradients. The, the, uh -huh, one, the, one yeah, two, the, three. Yeah. 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 So by accident, I think I put it on one or two. I don't know what it was. And then I just, I just wanted to trim just a bit to make it a bit neater. And then zzz, half of it like all went. And it was like, like almost zero. I was like, oh, I can't do that. I can't record like a Muharram video or whatever, like not having a beard. It's, it's yeah. a bit. So I was like, okay, khalas, I've, I've done it, I've done it. So let me just shave the whole thing off. So I shaved the whole thing off and I was like, no way am I recording. <laughs> and I, it was totally off. So I, I spoke to the producer. I was like, look, this is the situation. What do I do? He goes, oh, look, just get some makeup. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. Like, what am I going to use? He goes, so just fun. that. That black, whatever they use, I don't know what it was yeah. I don't know exactly. So I managed to like put on, and it, because I had a bit of hair as well on there, and mixed with the black, it didn't look that bad. Mm -hmm. But does so, it does it look really really obvious? If it, go back to the picture again. Can we get the picture? Can we get the picture back on? No. Anyway, when the picture comes when the back, picture it doesn't really, comes back. it doesn't really look that bad. It doesn't really look that bad, and and I thought, yeah, and look, cause the the. the you know what I mean? It's the a bit top part, the top part, uh, looks kind of you know, because you you don't have that kind of beard. I don't have, yeah, that. Yeah. The, yeah. So the. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But cool. it's nice. It's nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> wow. Now. Can we please leave that out? This is no, this is the part <laughs> that I've been waiting for, brothers and sisters. Let me please introduce this. Go ahead. Okay. So remember how we yesterday we had the challenge of the cards and the numbers. So we took it one step further today. Um, about two hours ago in the other studio, uh, Ahmed, I was like, oh, look, let's play a game and then the loser can, you know, the loser will have cold water uh, poured all over it. I thought, okay, no problem. So the game of choice was basketball and throwing the ball into the basket, all right? And he chose this out of revenge because I won the day before. So I'm not going to reveal too much more. All this entails is uh, two baskets, about six balls, two different colors, and a bucket, literally a bucket of ice cold water. Here it is. It's my time to actually place the family back. Hush, you won yesterday by cheating, uh, by shuffling the cards again. Wallahi, I won, I won bad. And you got wet, so today is another day. Another day, we're gonna play a bit of soccer and, and, and basketball. The blue and white balls are one point each, and then the gold balls are two points each. So you can make up. Yeah. Basically make I'm up not, points. I'm, my personal gut feeling is I'm going to lose. I'm not confident at all. We had a couple of practice shots and he was swishing them in like, like this is like, this is so normal for him. Uh, well, he just, just jinxed me. And I, mine was all over the place. <laughs> well, so we'll, uh, my, I've got my massive we'll eye on you right now. So uh, we'll see. a very, very good basketball player. Very good basketball I wish no. I could be like you. No. I really wish I could be like you. <laughs> okay, so the way this works, if, if uh, Ahmed may, yeah. we're going to throw one ball each uh, of the two of the two uh, blue and white ones. We're going to count the points, and then hopefully uh, we'll do the gold balls uh, as well. Yeah. Right? The guy with, naturally, the person with the most points wins. The loser will get the bucket uh, of cold water. The bucket freezing of cold water. Freezing cold water. <laughs> Once I felt the water right here, I started screaming. <laughs> screaming. Okay. Yeah. Go, hold on. No, 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 Yeah? I'm not like it. Gold balls. Yes! Yo, 
smell that. <laughs> no, how can we still have another one? I have to your turn, the last ball. You've already thrown your... your... <laughs> Use two hands. If I get this in, if I get this in, I win. If I don't get this in, we do sudden death, one ball each. Oh, yeah. God, that was such a sudden death. Alright, here, fine. Sudden death. It's one ball each. No, there's no points now involved. Together. Yeah. Draw together. Draw together. No, I can't. Oh, the <coughs> Tell you how cold the water was. How the water was or is was. Yeah. You know, just watching it is. I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was legit cold water. Yeah. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Uh, but I think it was unfair. Why? What's well, so unfair about it? Yesterday we reshuffled. And at least I should. Oh, you still are you still annoyed about yesterday? <laughs> I still got I still got wet yesterday. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And today, but yeah, you went first. I went second. You took your two shots. I took my two shots. I'm kidding. Uh, no, I can't was, wait for tomorrow's game. It was uh, it was fun. Tomorrow's game is actually going to be a bit dangerous and so uh, a, a bit danger and fun at the same time. What? Don't. Okay. Be patient. I'm I'm impatient. Allah. Uh Mullah. Back to uh, small break. No. A small break. Yeah. We just had a small break. Should what? go for a small break. Small break. Uh, so, because we will be joined with uh, our reporter, uh, our reporter, yeah, who has uh, not now, not now. Uh, okay. Huh. Okay. Fine. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, we're gonna go to a small break anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll go to a, sh a short break. Yeah. Uh, inserts and stuff. And inshallah, we'll be back uh, to continue and to take you into the spiritual mode, Shall. if you will, to uh, get you ready for Ali Father. Hussein, <laughs> با تو چه معنوس دلم اسم تو حل مشکلم نمک عشق تو رو از اول فاطمه ریخده تو گلم حسین زمزمه عشق حسین رمزمه عشق حسین خاتمه عشق آقا حسین آقا حسین حسین بارون چشمام حسین خون تو رگ هام حسین همونی که میخوام Welcome back, dear viewers of Imam Hussain TV3, um, to Light Hour Nights with myself and Ahmed uh, Ali. 
Um, you, before the break, did see um, a short video. And I think, I, actually, during the break, I was thinking, I actually want to see that again. And I think the viewers want to see that again as well. <laughs> um, so we'll show it for you, hopefully, towards the end of the show, if we have two or three minutes spare. Um, we'll show at the end of the show, but basically it was a, a quick game between myself and Ahmed. We had to throw some balls into a basket and whoever wins, wins, whoever loses, gets a massive bucket of cold water thrown on their heads. Well, that was before the break. Now, um, ladies and gentlemen, my dear viewers, uh, we are going to focus more on the spiritual aspects of the mid-Sha'ban, the, mid the 15th of Sha'ban, the night of. Uh, and like we were saying before, coincidentally, it falls on a Thursday. Yes. So not only is it one of the most... Um, uh, the second most spiritual and great nights uh, in, in the Islamic calendar, but also falls on a Thursday. So I think that maybe that's why the Zawar is probably double what it usually should be because it's a Thursday night, people usually come here, right? I, I don't think that it's doubled. I think it's quadrupled. No way. You know, the, the amount of people, you know, Karbala when, I mean, you, 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 yeah, you're usually here every Thursday. So yeah. on a Thursday, is there something like this? Thousands. Like I this? Can tell you th no, no, this is not thousands. Oh. This is millions. No way. You know, the, it's safe to say that this is millions. You came two years in yeah, Albain. Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. Wasn't it, was, it like it this? Was actually very similar to this, yeah. Very similar to this. Yeah, very, very similar and, to this. Uh, earlier today, when I was looking out, I called uh, one of my siblings who is on the street of Bab al-Qibla, which is not far from here. And he says, up to Tarbiyah, people were coming in. Mm. Yeah, and were, they were flocking, you know, in thousands. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the, the the fact that so many people are coming here, um, you know, to compare... Is it, it like this last, like last year? Last year, I didn't get the chance to uh, go out to the streets and, and check it out. Mm. Uh, but it was it was live. Yeah. It was... A lot of people. Yeah, it was, it was lit up. Yeah. I mean, a lot of to be honest with you, there's a lot of emphasis put um, on visiting Karbala on the nights of Arafah um, and the nights of Ramadan. Al Qadr and the nights of obviously Arba'in and Muharram. Not a lot of emphasis is actually put on the Sha'baniya nights. It's, no, yeah. um, people think it's just because it's like a, a happy occasion, mm -hmm. they maybe undervalue the spiritual aspects of mm -hmm. especially this night. Mm -hmm. So I think now people are more aware um, that this night is the second greatest night mm -hmm. of, uh, of the Islamic calendar and there's and so many rituals associated with this night. I mean, there's so many a'mal, yes. play, prayers, supplications. So I think everyone's trying to cram themselves into the two shrines. To, to be as close to the two kings, Abu Fadl Abbas and Imam Hussein mm -hmm. um, so that they can, their, their du'as and supplications would be you know, much stronger than they would be outside. Mm -hmm. Now, the first night when uh, we had um, began our show, Light Our Night, you mentioned that this is your first time in Karbala during mid of Sha'ban. Yeah. Now, when you arrived at this, as, as you said, the second greatest night in the Islamic calendar, what's your feeling up up to today? It's it's been five days. You know, yeah, it's been days? about five days. Yeah, um, I, th I think that the the first feeling I get when I'm entering into Karbala, especially close to the two, two shrines, is the feeling of happiness. Mm -hmm. That's the first feeling. I, I really love the fact because I've never experienced Karbala on a happy occasion. I've experienced it in a non-season occasion, normal like normal day. And I've experienced it in Muharram and Arba'in. I've experienced it in, uh, during the Arafah nights as well. But I've never actually experienced it when it's lit up with lights and, and like I was saying, candy and sweets and people giving out free food. Yeah. The same they were doing in Arba'in. Not only that, but there's fireworks and there's like yeah. candle, um, there's like candle vigils as well in honor of Imam Mahdi Ajala Ta'ala Faraj Sharif. So it's, there's so many, so much things going on. It's the first immediate feeling is happiness. Like you're, mm -hmm. you're really, really happy to be around. You're always smiling. People yes. are always smiling. Um, so it's a feeling of elation. Yeah. Whereas on, in Arba'in, there's, there's a constant, constant like grief in the back of your mind. There's yes. a constant mellow. It's always sorrowful. There's always electric people are really passionate and charged up but when it comes to the Sha'ban as you can see this this the lights the feeling of look right now we're speaking and there's, and there's clapping yeah 
So people are really enjoying themselves. I guess, look, to be honest with you, it just gives the people of Iraq, who have gone under so much scrutiny yes. and pressure, as I was saying, um, and prosecution and, and trials and killings and bombings and so much, it gives them a lifeline to say, you know what, I just want to be happy yes. for what I have, for what I don't have, I don't care. I just want to be happy for being close to Imam Hussein yes. being close to the Ahlul Bayt Alim and just living my life the same way mm -hmm. everyone else wants to live their life. Yes. So it, it gives them that, that lifeline of happiness and of hope. That's the main thing. That's why people are here because they're pleading with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in honor of Abu Salah Abbas, in honor of Abu Salah Abbas, to hasten the appearance of Muhammad Mahdi Ajulla So that's you know, the, the, the main feeling that I have as well mm -hmm. when I'm here. Yes, and I, just to touch upon uh, when you said uh, regarding being happy, like just the atmosphere makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Although it's crowded and you get jammed, but you know that you're here for a purpose. And the majority of these people, inshallah, everybody that has come to Karbala know they're here for a purpose. A short story that um, there's poor people around the world, like close, not very close to where I live, but close enough that the stories go around and you see the people they're talking about. Now, these people don't own a lot of things. Yeah, and they're in rent, they're in debt, that is crippled. So basically, they have no income coming into the house. Every Eid, every Sha'ban, and the father refused to take donations. Yani he, his, his integrity doesn't want people to you know, pity, him. Uh, pity him and stuff. So he's, he refuses donations, he refuses anything. So, but subhanAllah, I don't know how, but every Eid, every occasion comes, his children are wearing brand new clothes, Brand new shoes. Alhamdulillah, I mean, it's it's beautiful, but the fact that it is and the, the birth of Imam Mahdi and the birth in Sha'ban, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala rewards the lovers of Ahl Bayt Ali mm -hmm. on these occasions that they're just happy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even the poor people yeah. are happy for the, as you mentioned. They don't care if they have or they don't have. They just want to get here and celebrate. Yeah. Um, so it's. It's, it's a blessing to be uh, in, in, in such yeah. an area. Definitely, definitely. No, I, t I, I totally understand. Um, and you can appreciate that by just walking on the streets as well. You can see that um, people of all different shapes and sizes uh, have come towards Karbala. Um, and I guess the reports that, will, that will, will show you hopefully in the next couple of uh, minutes will give you an insight into the, or, uh, the, an interview into the, um, into the people and how they feel about coming to Karbala, but especially the reports that we'll have for you is, is regarding the candle vigil, they call it, or the candle festival. Um, I don't know if this is a ritual that you guys do here, but back in London, uh, we have this, like, it's a, like a family ceremony that we do. We, I think they call it, where you write a letter to Imam Mahdi, um, and then you, you throw it into the river or, or a lake or anything like yeah. that. Um, they send it with the candles. Is it they send it with the candles? Yeah. yeah. So then they have something similar. So I think this candle light vigil um, is in honor of Imam Mahdi. Uh, each and every single one who has a piece of hope or happiness in their hearts, they put it onto the candle mm -hmm. um, and then they light it up. So the reports will show that. I think we can show that now. Um, yeah. Or are we still carrying on the talking? Just one thing before yeah. we go. Uh, you know, I think we have a couple of minutes left. Four minutes uh, before we go. Right. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but have you been to inside where, where, where the actual not today. tomb is? Not today. No, no, not no. Uh, today. Earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight, it's it's different from the other nights. Yeah, the, the, the really jammed nights, when I mean, like Thursday night, uh, Arba'in, and all yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. As you mentioned, Arba'in and all the other occasions, they're kind of filled with grief. Everybody is a, is a sore filled mood. But right now, everybody wants to go and touch the Dariha of Muhammad Hussain alayhi salam. Yeah. Why, if, if we can get this on camera, uh, they all have small papers with them. Do so, they? Yeah, yeah, so they throw it inside. So they have to get to the tomb. To the Regularly, they just circulate. They just go in, you know, if a Zayr touches, they touch the Zayr. So technically they have touched the, the Dariha. Okay. But right now it's jammed because, because people have to technically get to the People have to go inside and touch the dhariq. Yeah. Like they've made it incumbent upon themselves to go in there and touch the dhariq and put the paper inside no for their hajat.
That's amazing. Yeah, one, one, one of the most, you know, the, the secret, Sha'ban for me has so many secrets and so many blessings uh, that everybody can actually benefit from. You know, a, a lot of people are deprived of, of, of these blessings. You know, not, not everyone is blessed enough, uh, like Ali Fadl, to be in Karbala, you know, on, on truly, Zikr, for, the, for, the, yeah. for the first time. Yeah, truly I am blessed. Truly I am blessed. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So um, in terms of the vigil, um, the report is for Muhammad Ali. Yes. Uh, and he'll give you an insight into the candlelight vigil, the candlelight festival in association with Imam Mehdi Ajra Ta'ala Furju Sharif. And the last word is? Goodbye. Ahmed, it's, we literally got what? Just, what? The, what? Just, the, just, just one comment. Says, Ahmed, do goodbye. Ahmed, say goodbye. Yalla Ahmed, bye bye. Bye bye, that's it? And then after the break, um, we'll have the rituals associated with the Sha'ban season um, and some recitations as well. And hopefully, hopefully, if there's chance, if there's time, no, we'll no, have no, the no. video <laughs> of Ahmed losing the, video is, is, the is not going basketball up game as well. I'm, I'm See you after sure the break. As you see, uh, the holy shrines of uh, Karbala are preparing to uh, launch the Candles Festival where uh, about 1,183 candles uh, will be lighted in celebration of the age of uh, the awaited Imam, may Allah hasten his uh, reappearance. Stay tuned dear brothers and sisters uh, for more details uh, from this festival, inshallah we will get you. Uh, about the candles and uh, about the time they will about how they will light it uh, and uh, about uh, the uh, more 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 information about uh, this festival stay tuned dear brothers and sisters <laughs> to you uh, from the uh, festival where we could uh, take some uh, useful information. Uh, basically, uh, this festival was held for the first time uh, 15 years before uh, the fall of the tyranny in Iraq in 2003. Uh, it was held by a person named Muqdad Karim Hadi. 
Later on, it was uh, it was held for the first time Bain al Haramain al-Sharifain in the area between the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother, Abu al-Fadl Abbas. Uh, the festival became an annual ritual that is held uh, every year on the birth anniversary of Imam al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance. Uh, each year they write a different phrase, uh, the first phrase that was written you know, uh, they write the phrase and they put the candles on that phrase. So they basically uh, write the phrase with the candles. The first uh, phrase was written was uh, Ya Qa'ima Ala Muhammad. At that time, uh, 1167 candles were lighted. Uh, the first festival uh, costed 16,000 dinars, which is uh, <coughs> in, today's, uh, in today's measures, uh, it's about... 14 to 13 dollars uh, ever since that festival uh, the, as I said the festival became an annual ritual this year uh, 1183 candles are to be lighted inshallah uh, the festival uh, is being held with the efforts of the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl Abbas uh, peace be upon them and a number of donations from uh, uh, from the lovers of the Ahl al-Bayt uh, the festival basically uh, started with the speech uh, of the uh, of the of the of the uh, secretariat of the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl Abbas in addition uh, to Quranic recitation and uh, poetry respected viewers stay tuned for more shows uh, from the holy land of Karbala والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. My dear respected viewers of Imam Hussein TV3, welcome back to Light Our Nights. In this part of the show, I will be taking you through the spiritual rituals associated with the mid Sha'ban season, the birth of the awaited Savior, Imam Al Mahdi. Uh, we are celebrating the Sha'ban season. The Sha'ban season started with the births of Abil Fadl Abbas, Imam Hussein, and, Abil, uh, and Imam Al Sajjad. Um, and now it moves into the mid Sha'ban season, the second most greatest night. The biggest night of the Islamic calendar. The first is Laylatul Qadr. The second is Nusuf Sha'ban, mid Sha'ban season. The millions of, of followers of the Ahlul Bayt have flocked towards Karbala in honor of Imam Mahdi with their hajat, with their requests, with their supplications, with everything in their hearts. They're pouring it out to Imam Hussain in the hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help, will, would hear their prayers and their supplications. Um, today, I will go through each and every single ritual associated with this night so that you at home can benefit. We are about 9 o'clock, um, about uh, 10 o'clock uh, London time and probably about 5 o'clock um, Washington DC. So for you, the, the day is just beginning, the night is just beginning. Do not let a night like this pass in um, idle chit chat uh, or idle gatherings. Uh, make sure that you are striving towards the last power to Allah. Before I get to into any of the rituals and the recitations, I do have a special guest with me. The person that I keep referring to as Muhammad Ali the reporter, Muhammad Ali the reporter, is now live with me in the uh, studio. Assalamu alaikum, Muhammad. Alaikum salam. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you very the first much. Thing How are you? I I'm very well. The first thing I should say, I noticed, as soon as I met uh, Muhammad Ali, uh, it was actually in an office, um, and I was with the producer, and we were talking about certain things. Um, and then he he walked in, said salam, and gave something to the producer, and then uh, he he spoke in English. So I was taken aback. I'll I'll tell you why, but I was taken aback immediately. And then he, as he was walking, I was like, whoa, 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 one second, one second, one second. Where, where are you going? I mean, do you live here? I mean, like I don't understand. Like your, your English is almost royal. Like the English is royal English. Where in the world did you learn this English? And he's like, well, I learned from here. I'm like, what, as in even your like dress sense, like everything what, from here? He's like, yeah, I, I, everything is from here, from Iraq. I, I'm technically Iraqi, so I was taken aback by that. So I probably will get into um, your background as to where you learned your English and everything like that in a bit. But before, what I want to get into first is um, it's in the middle of the afternoon. It's boiling hot. Yes. How do you go about preparing for the reports and the interviews for days like this? Well, uh, it was, uh, you know, pretty much difficult since, uh, 
You know, I was using the iPad, yeah. you know, for, for more information, you know, basically the amount of the middle Shaban. Yeah. And, you know, the extra information that you can't remember at, at that particular time. So uh, I was using it and then suddenly it shut down. It says temperature warning. No way. Really? Oh my God. And then I was surprised. So I looked it off and I started to talk of my, you know, of my own, of the, you know, information I have. Yeah. Uh, and then I started to, you know, uh, have that vision. Oh my God. How is it possible for, for people uh, to walk all the way from the very beginning of the checkpoint, mm. you know, that is about four to uh, six kilometers away from the Holy Shrine. Oh, wow. They walk it all in from the uh, checkpoint to the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abdul Fadl Abbas, peace be upon them. Mm. So uh, it was pretty much difficult, yeah. and uh, uh, you know the voices were too loud. You know there was a lot of noise because you know pilgrims yeah. and the speakers that uh, from the uh, from the processions and the services units. So I had to turn up my. You know my voice. Yeah, yeah, had, you yeah, know, yeah. So you're always really shouting, basically. I was basically the... shouting. Yes. Wow. wow. So, uh, but basically, Alhamdulillah, it was uh, fine. But the atmosphere at that, you know, particular time is uh, indescribable. Nice. Because nice. Uh, uh, you know, I will summarize it in four days. The four days that I was going out to do the reports. Uh, basically, the first day was the preparations. You know, when the uh, uh, services units start to prepare for, to provide the services mm. for the pilgrims of Imam Hussein. And at that time, uh, not only the preparations that took my attention, but also there was another thing, which is I saw a group of young men sitting down at that, you know, tent. And there was, uh, there was an old man teaching them about how to await the Imam, peace be upon him. Uh, how, uh, how to, how to uh, you know, honor the martyrdom of, uh, of Imam Hussein, how to honor the sacrifices of the Ahlul Bayt mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, these ground, these, these, these grand gatherings, yeah, it yeah. gives, you know, the utter, you know, spiritual, a lot of, you know, spiritual power to the, to everyone. Including me, I'm the person who lives in who live in Karbala. I live in Karbala basically, but I was, you know, totally surprised to see uh, such young man, such an old man, teaching them about nice. everything. Nice. And the rest of the atmosphere was basically people providing uh, services for the for the pilgrims uh, generously. Mm, mm. You know, out of their all, you know. So, you, yeah, you as you mentioned that you you, know, you lived in Karbala. I mean. Have there been any differences between this Sha'bani season and last Sha'bani season? In context, I mean, every single year, uh, you know, there's there's a lot more scrutiny on the Shias, a lot more scrutiny on the Muslims in general. Mm -hmm. So year on year in, people are hoping and hoping, almost almost expecting the Dhuhr to, to happen. Like it's it, people, there's, there's a sense of imminent um, uh, reappearance for for some reason, people feel it in their bones. Is it is it is it like ha, is there a difference between the feeling, the atmosphere here now, between last year, two years ago, three years ago, or is it uh, more or less the same every year? The uh, the pilgrimage of the mid of Shaban, uh, it has an annual progress. You know, each year it develops into uh, you know, uh, for example, the 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 candles festival, mm. and in addition to the candles festival, there are a lot of people. Who uh, who you know light candles and put them in the river? You know the yeah, river yeah, near the yeah. Maqam. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, oh, they do it there as well. Yes, they do. They do. They do it there as well to honor the uh, uh, the their waiting for the uh, for the Sahib Zaman. Mm. May Allah hasten his reappearance. Mm. So each year, people uh, go over the difficulties, and particularly in this year. Do you know that the uh, final exams are taking place uh, in a few days? Oh wow! Yes, for the high schools uh, and uh, for the universities in a few weeks more. Wow. Okay. So, despite the difficulties, uh, and whenever it's more difficult, people persist to come to Imam Hussein to pay allegiance for him mm. and for the Master of our time. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Sounds good. So, uh, now uh, again to your personal background. I mean, how long have you lived in Karbala? I mean, have you lived here the whole your whole life? Um, Where did you study and get that immaculate accent? Basically, I was born in Maysan Province in the south of Iraq. Okay. Uh, at a village area, it was it was called Al Kahla. Yeah, it's you know basically uh, almost on the borders between Iraq and Iran. Okay. So after that, we moved to Basra city, 
in the bottom of Iraq. Yes. And then we moved to Karbala at 2008. Right, okay. Yes. Um, so. Almost 10 years. Yes, almost 10 years in, uh, in the holy city of Karbala. Uh, but basically, you know, it's, it's a lovely place. Did you study here? English? Yeah. Uh, I basically you... took uh, the regular education. Right. Just like most of people did. Okay. Uh, but, you know, I had. Uh, my father is a Seder. Right. And my grandfather is a Seder too. Okay. So basically, my grandfather used to speak about 10 to 12 languages. Wow, languages. Including English. So I took the very beginnings from there, but the, uh, you know, uh, the, the influence that I had was from a teacher at the second year in high school. Oh. She said that, you know, uh, you can do it. Uh, you can be good at it. Right. So uh, I took it from there and I started, you know, to, to keep pushing myself, right. learn one thing after another. another and way. Alhamdulillah, so far I'm a third year student at the University of Kabbalah, uh, you know, at English language department. Okay, so you're, you're con continuously studying the, the English language then? Well, basically now I study literature and uh, uh, linguistics. Right, and what, what certain topics do you go through when it comes to literature? I mean, uh, just give us a rough... Uh, literature, we came from the ancient literature of the Greeks, Romans and the uh, Middle Ages writings right. and so far to the Elizabethan age and after that to the uh, Romantic age and the Victorian right. age right. and uh, right now we're studying I think the modernism. Modernism? Yes, modernism. Beautiful. Yes, Beautiful. Uh, we study you know different topics from uh, uh, poetry, drama and you know the novels. Beautiful, that is absolutely great. Well look, if you didn't think that um, Iraq could be that substantial in their ed education, well, here is a pure example of that. So literature, English literature, um, is very much prevalent here. And um, we thank you so much, Prime Ali, for your time. You're most welcome. And we'll definitely see you very, very soon. Thank you. Inshallah. Thank you. You're most welcome. What we're going to do now is go to a uh, small break. Uh, and then after that, we will have some insights uh, into the rituals of the mid Shaban season. We'll leave you with some cutaways, with some, with some I guess, the inserts from the shrines of Abel, uh, Abu Abdullah Al Hussein and Abu Fawl Abbas. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. بوی پیرهن یوسف زهرا یعقوب و بیارید که شفا تو راهه بوی پیرهن یوسف زهرا اومد کبوترا خبر از تابوس اهل جنت میارن تو جمع کران دست دست از هر شهری هیئت میارن کبوترا خبر از تابوس اهل جنت میارن تو جمع کران دست دست از هر شهری هیئت میارن ستاره وارونه آسمونه دعا ستاره وارونه آسمونه دعا همه گی زیر لب میگن آقا بیا ستاره وارونه آسمون دعا ستاره وارونه آسمون دعا همه گی زیر لب میگن آقا بیا آقا بیا آقا بیا از نفس باد سبا ها اومد عطر نرگس باقچه دنیا اومد یعقوب و بیارین که شفا تو راهه بوی پیرهن یوسف زهرا اومد بوی پیرهن یوسف زهرا اومد کبوترا خبر از تابوس اهل جنت میارن تا جم کران دست دست از هر شهری هیئت میارن ستاره وارونه آسمونه دو Welcome back, dear viewers of Imam Hussein TV 3 um, for the last part of this show. As promised, we will be going through all of the rituals associated with Mid Shaban so that you are well covered when it comes to the supplications so you don't miss out on a night like this. 
this night is the second most greatest night. And Imam Sadiq was asked um, why this night is such a great night. And he says um, that he أَفْضَلُ الْلَيَالِ بَعْدْ لَيَتُ الْقَادِرِ فِيهَا يَمْنَحُ اللَّهِ الْعِبَادِ فَضْلَهُ وَيَغْفَرْ لَهُمْ بِمَنَّهِ So on a night like this, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will wipe clean his slate of, of his servants uh, and will, will, um, will, will uh, make sure that their repentance is accepted. Um, so strive towards being close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَاجْتَهِدُوا فِي قُرْبَةِ اللَّهِ Yes. Um, so it is a night that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, will make it incumbent on himself to make sure that anyone who is asking, anyone who is pleading, anyone who is crying towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will make sure that those questions, those supplications, those requests are answered on a night like this, regardless of their history regardless of their CV, regardless of their deeds, on a night like this, you can wipe your slate clean um, in uh, striving towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fajtahidu. Um, so from, uh, and coincidentally on a night like this, um, we are also, as it says from the, uh, from the words, um, that it is the milad of um, Sultan al Asr wa Imam al Zaman, Arwahana Lahul Fida. It is the birth of the awaited Savior, Imam al Mahdi, Ajallahu Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif. Um, the first thing that you are supposed to be doing on a night like this of the rituals is the ghusl. So uh, purifying yourself, having a, a shower to purify yourself um, physically and emotionally and spiritually so that when you uh, are taking part in the rituals when you are taking part in the rituals uh, you are clean uh, from the ghusl the second thing is um, the salah and the dua and the istighfar um, uh, of the rituals is the salah the dua and the istighfar the same way that Imam Zain Abidin alayhi salam uh, at which he says man ahya hadhihi layla لم يمت قلبه يوم تموت فيها القلوب. So whoever purifies this night, whoever um, makes sure that this night is remembered, that their hearts will not die the day the hearts will die on the day of judgment. So that's the second thing. The third thing is the ziyara of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Now, what's interesting here is that if you cannot arrive to the city of Karbala to perform the ziyara, it says here that if you can go to the highest place um, within your area, within your city, within your village, wherever you may be, at the highest point, you look once towards the right and you look once towards the left and then you raise your hands high up in the air and you recite only this simple um, piece of supplication or this this salutation assalamu alayka ya aba abdullah assalamu alayka wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh if you can repeat that a hundred times 500 times no matter how much times you can the more the merrier but just to repeat go to the highest point of the building of the village of the city um, and then look once towards the right, once towards the left, and then raise your hands and your head towards the sky and say, Assalamu alaikum ya Aba Abdullah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <clears throat> After that, um, it's the, the thawab of, of this ziyara is the ajr or the thawab of, of hajj and uh, umrah. Uh, and of course, there is a certain um, the fourth thing, actually, the fourth, the fourth thing of the rituals to do, is uh, a small du'a. Um, Imam Al Ghaib. So it is a du'a in honor of the Imam Al Asri was Zamam Imam Al Mahdi, which starts. The, uh, it's a pretty long du'a, but it will start with Allahumma bihaqi laylatina wa mauludiha wa hujjatika wa mauudiha allati qaranat ila fadliha fadlan. Fatam fatam. فتمت كلمتك صدقا وعدلا لا مبدل لكلماتك ولا معقب لآياتك نورك المتألق and so on and so forth it's quite a long dua 
uh, but you can find that on any other website uh, which has. Um, the fifth thing to do is uh, and this, there's the fifth dua as well which starts Allahumma anta al-hayyu al-qayyum al-aliyu al-azim al-khaliq al-raziq al-muhyi al-mumit al-mubdi'u al-badi'u لك الجلال ولك الفضل ولك الحمد ولك المن ولك الجود ولك الكرم ولك الأمر ولك الحمد and so on and so forth. This is quite a long dua as well. The sixth thing to do is another um, small dua from the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم. اللهم اقسم لنا من خشيتك ما يحول بيننا وبين معصيتك ومن ومن طاعتك. Uh, and so on and so forth. That is one of uh, the rituals of today. Um, there's a seventh and there's an eighth and there's, there's so many different rituals to do. Uh, okay, and of course, one of the benefits of tonight is to recite um, Dua Kumail. So the Dua of Kumail is also to be recited today uh, as well. Uh, and of course, there is a small, um, a small supplication. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar as well. Um, you can do that, I believe it says uh, a thousand times, or as, many, as much times as you can. There's many more rituals as well. It, it, it goes on and on and on, but essentially you can find this in Mufatiha Janan, uh, the keys to the heavens, Mufatiha Janan, um, and that way, you will be able to understand the full uh, recitations, uh, inshallah. So those are the rituals. We'll get into a bit of uh, small recitations, inshallah, uh, after the small break. Um, so we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Dark and lonely as if even my days are night. Dark and lonely as if even my days are night. Without my mom, I cannot see. But night it is, and loneliness we feel. Every emotion is strong and very real. But the sun hides behind the clouds. Yes, the sun hides behind the clouds. Not yet ready to shine out bright. Its energy touches us and its warmth we feel. Its light shines upon us, it's very real. Time of sunrise is very near, birds are chirping, I can hear. Wake up and answer the call of your master. He's come to save humanity from disaster. Who is ready to answer your call? Who is ready to answer your call? 
I know my master, I know your sun will rise very near. I know this earth will be blessed with no fear. I know the banner of peace will be held up high. I know the promise of Allah. I know the promise of Allah. I know the promise of Allah cannot be denied. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Short poetry in honor of Imam Al Mahdi, Ajallah Ta'ala, Farajah al Sharif. And of course, like I said, on, an, on a night like this, um, I will keep the recitation subdued and focus more on the words. As we say, Ya Mahdi, Ya Mahdi, return back to us. Ya Mahdi, Ya Mahdi, return back to us. Oh, my master and protector, oh, pure light in my darkest times. You are patience, you are Rahman, you are of hope. Say Holy night never will go out this fire between your heart and between mine stronger than all my desires I await you and your great signs Ya Mahdi Ya Mahdi we need you with us Ya Mahdi Ya Mahdi return and back to us were it not for your existence I would sway not knowing my path who would guide me who would love me who would put me first and not last who would take my hand to Jannah like a father takes a child we are in need of you Mahdi and blessings on you we will cast Ya Mahdi, Ya Mahdi you are within us Ya Mahdi, Ya Mahdi return back to us we have enjoyed for months and years patient we await your return but our hope is never dying and our love it will always burn the secrets of space and of time from you Mahdi we long to learn like the thirsty in the desert we are Shia for you we are Ya Mahdi Ya Mahdi please don't forget us Ya Mahdi Ya Mahdi return back to us Allah Ma'ajil لوليك الفرج وجعلنا من أنصاره وأعوانه ومن الذابين عنه من المستشهدين بين يديه اللهم كن لوليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتع فيها طويلا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين uh, and with that, we conclude today's program. Tomorrow we have more surprises, more fun, more games, more supplications, more recitations, and more um, live reports from uh, live reports from the land of Karbala. Like I said earlier, please do not let a night like this miss uh, uh, miss you. Don't let a night like this um, go past just like any other normal nights, perform the ghusl, perform the ritual, and, um, and then do your a'mal, do your ziyarat, uh, as well as um, don't forgetting, not forgetting us in your prayers, not forgetting the people who are in trials and tribulations in your prayers. Um, and we'll see you inshallah tomorrow. Please pray for me, please pray for everyone else. Uh, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
پر پر میزنه این دل خاطر خواهد پر پر میزنه این دل خاطر خواهد امشب دیگه مهمون زمین ما هست آخ که چی میشد اگه مصادف میشد روز فرج و روز تولد با هست آخ 